Ladies and gentlemen, family members, and honored guests, welcome to the Bergen Tech High School 2020 Graduation Ceremony. Good evening. My name is Melanie Alston Balaputra, and I am the Vice Principal of Bergen Tech Paramus High School Campus. Exceptional teachers create exceptional students. It is my distinct honor to welcome the exceptional faculty of our Paramus campus. Ladies and gentlemen, we now ask that you rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for our National Anthem.
I would also like to acknowledge our Bergen County Executive, Mr. James J. Tedesco III, Bergen County Freeholder Chairwoman, Mary J. Amoroso, Board of Education President, Dr. Lawrence Meyerson, our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Howard Lerner, Assistant Superintendent, Andrea Sheridan, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. Richard Panacucci, our Principal, Mr. Jeremy Wertheim, and Campus Supervisor Chris Capitis, who have contributed so much to the success of our graduates. Please welcome Bergen County Executive, Mr. James J. Tedesco III, who will offer a message to our graduates on behalf of Bergen County. Hello, graduates. As Bergen County Executive, I'm pleased to congratulate the Bergen County Technical Schools Class of 2020. I join with your family and friends to express how deeply proud we are of what you have accomplished. The Bergen County Technical School District ranks among the best school districts, not only in the state, but the entire country. You are truly a bright and creative group of students who over the past four years have been exposed to project-driven curriculums which have tested your abilities and prepared you for whatever you choose to do next. Whether that is joining the workforce right away, taking a gap year, enrolling in classes at Bergen Community College, enlisting in the military, or attending a four-year university, know that Bergen County Technical School education has prepared you to live, work, and lead in a global community. Now, I must state the obvious. This is far from how you envision spending your last semester of high school. The COVID-19 global pandemic has turned the world upside down. During the time where your days should be filled with gatherings to celebrate your milestone, you all have been faced with the reality of finishing classes through distance learning and virtual graduation celebrations. But many of you have gone even a step further. Since the beginning of this health crisis, students and faculty from Bergen Technical Schools have stepped up to help. Several student-run organizations have orchestrated efforts to solicit funds in support of the COVID-19 response effort. Many of you have personally donated PPE and other supplies to frontline workers. And several Bergen County Technical School students have personally been part of the frontline response working for local EMS departments or volunteering at local hospitals. To all of you who have helped in this effort, Bergen County cannot thank you enough. While the future right now seems uncertain, knowing how your class rose up to respond to the crisis gives me confidence that brighter days lie ahead for our county, state, and country because of the roles you all will play in shaping it. So on behalf of the nearly one million residents of Bergen County, congratulations again to the class of 2020. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you, Mr. Tedesco. And now please welcome Bergen County Freeholder Chairwoman, Mary J. Amoroso, to offer her message on behalf of the Freeholder Board. Hi, I'm Freeholder Chairwoman, Mary Amoroso. In Bergen County, we are proud of who we are, a big county of nearly one million people, culturally diverse, and supportive of one another. We are especially proud of our students in our Bergen County Technical Schools. We are in awe of your intelligence and your creativity, your work ethic, your achievements, your sense of social responsibility, and your heart. We know, seniors of 2020, that this unimaginable year of the virus tested your resilience and your ability to adapt to new ways of learning. Instead of all the wonderful and affirming rituals of senior year, you got to Zoom from home. Instead of sitting in caps and gowns with those you've known and loved and learned with for the past four years, you are experiencing a virtual graduation. We salute you, class of 2020, for your resilience and flexibility, for your energy and smarts of, and sense of hope in the face of this adversity. You are the builders and rebuilders of our world, 
Many of you will join the front lines in research, healthcare, and public service. We need all of your strength and smarts and energy as we create a new normal that keeps us safe but keeps us thriving in a renewed sense of community. So let us cheer and whistle virtually for all our graduates. We are so proud of what you've accomplished and so hopeful about what you are going to do. Thank you, Chairwoman Amoroso. Please welcome our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Howard Lerner. It is my honor and privilege to say a few words on the occasion of your graduation. I recognize that this is not the ceremony you or your family, or for that matter, those of us here at Bergen County Technical Schools, would ever have imagined. But we're here we are in these extraordinary times. And you are extraordinary students. After all, as eighth graders, you made the choice to leave the familiarity of your friends and your local school to accept admission at Bergen Tech. You created a whole new circle of friends and rose to the challenge of technical training and rigorous academics, early alarm clocks, and long bus rides. You showed perseverance and resilience, and those qualities have gotten you to this day and will see you through as you move on to college, the workforce, or the military. Steve Jobs once said, life is a journey and the journey is the reward. A philosophy I believe in and would like to share with you on this special occasion. I hope you look back on your journey through high school and even these past few months as rewarding in itself. Life will not always be predictable, but as you move forward toward achieving your goals and building your own life, enjoy the journey despite whatever roadblocks you may encounter. I know each of you is resilient enough and persistent enough to realize your dreams. I want to congratulate you, the extraordinary class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Lerner. It is now my pleasure to introduce the principal of the Paramus campus, Mr. Jeremy Wertheim. Class of 2020, you made it. We are gathered at our homes under these unique circumstances, and you are graduating in a way that Bergen Tech has never attempted before. Your families and teachers can attest to the fact that our fondest memories of high school were not necessarily of graduation or other end of year activities, but of spontaneous moments when you made your first friend, appreciated the guidance of a teacher or counselor, or maybe even recorded a video on your phone as Mr. Capitis got pied in the face by Ms. Terizzi during Color Wars. About a month ago, I asked the graduating class to share their fondest memories with me. And while I can't mention every single one, these are the moments that stuck out as representing the class of 2020. My favorite memories were of learning a lifelong trade. My favorite memories were of learning to be a parent during the baby project in health. My favorite memory was of the activities at Club Getaway. It was the first time I was away from home. My favorite memories were of the dances with the other campuses. My favorite memory was when I made a play in the football game that won the game. My favorite memory is when I won a SkillsUSA competition. My favorite memory is when I realized that the staff I thought were giving me a hard time actually cared deeply about me. My favorite memories are when I learned to play guitar. My favorite memories were of Halloween at BT and seeing the staff dressed up in the same theme. My favorite memory was when I felt really accepted for the first time. My favorite memory was of achieving my medical responder certificate. My favorite memory was when my teacher was so excited about our success that he spun around and did a split. My favorite memory was when I got the letter to be a full-time student. These memories will last a lifetime, and you should cherish them. Take them with you as you go on your unique journey out of high school. You will need them as you face the challenges ahead. Let them comfort you, for you are an involuntary pioneer taking on a world that has been newly reestablished. 
you'll be charged with reinventing your trades and solving new puzzles that will help reshape our world. These tasks are daunting, but you have your experiences to guide you, your memories to comfort you, and the Bergen Tech staff to support you even after you're gone. Just because you're graduating doesn't mean that we say goodbye. Now more than ever, we must remain a community, share how we will move forward in our trades, and lean on one another for resources. In addition to the task of reinventing yourself as a future automotive technician, cosmetologist, or healthcare worker, you will need to exercise compassion, remain optimistic, stay resilient, and practice gratitude. For crises like these test our abilities to remain human. I know this sounds like a lot, but having gotten to know you over the past four years and having watched you grow into the adults I saw in the processional, I have great confidence that you will persevere and be successful. Before you go off to the next phase of your life, whether it is college, apprenticeship, trade school, military service, or entry into the workforce, I have some last pieces of advice for you before you're no longer my students. When we are in our most difficult moments, we have the most room to grow. Remember that no one has a clear roadmap right now, which means that you have an opportunity to blaze your own trail and make your own map. This is the time to be cutting edge. Use your skills to think up jobs of the future so you can be the next Instagram influencer, digital tailor, podcast producer, or something new we haven't even thought of yet. And to our families, at orientation four years ago, I remember seeing your excitement in joining Bergen Tech. I hope that excitement has carried you through to today. And I hope that you have made the right decision in choosing Bergen Tech. Students, I think I can speak for your families and I know I can speak for the Bergen Tech staff when I say that we are proud of all you have accomplished and can't wait to see what you do next. On behalf of the Bergen County Technical High School Administration, congratulations, Class of 2020, on your graduation. Thank you, Mr. Wertheim. And now I'd like to introduce Sky Williams, who will now present the class gift on behalf of the graduating class. Presenting a painting of the night destroying the coronavirus for the class of 2020. Thank you, Sky. We will proudly display this painting and admire it for years to come. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our class co-valedictorians to give their keynote address. No one can speak from the heart about our school like our own students. Please welcome our co-valedictorians, Nicholas Fallon and Colin Schumacher. Good evening, Bergen Tech family. First, I would like to congratulate Mr. Wertheim on his first year as principal of our grade school. I have no doubt that you will continue to do an amazing job after we leave because you did survive a year of unprecedented circumstances in addition to our ruthless class after all. As you all know, I would normally be speaking to you on a stage surrounded by our fine Bergen Tech administration, faculty, and staff after a week of fun and games, which is a part of our traditional last week of school. This year, however, is very different. Instead, I had to speak to you from my home, only surrounded by my family after countless months of online instruction. While we cannot be together as a whole at this time, we have to recognize that it is at the expense of our own safety. Throughout the past few months, we have been forced to live in ways that we never expected. While I am disappointed to have to speak to you through this digital format, I can confirm that it is in everyone's best interest for their safety. As many of you know, on my off time from school, I'm a firefighter with the Woodridge Fire Department as well as a member of the Woodridge Emergency Squad. I have been on the front lines of this pandemic. I think I speak for most of my classmates when I say, although we can't be together and it's disappointing right now, safety should come first. And it seems that our chances are growing more and more with each conference that the governor holds. Although it's human nature to always focus on the bad, I think it's a good idea to look back on some of the better times we've had as a class. Faded memories bring me back to new student orientation freshman year. None of us knew each other, and we had no idea what experiences lay ahead. We went through countless days of school and finally got to the end of our freshman year where we learned the idea of Bergen Tech's Color Wars. 
This is personally my favorite part of every year. It's the time where we get to show up not only our friends and classmates, but our teachers as well, in all different kinds of sports and activities. Even though we couldn't have the opportunity to do it this year, I still want to take a second to remind the faculty that we're better than you guys at Batball. Plus, Sluggen and I are better than you at Cornhole, Rapinski, and Quinn. I think it goes without saying, when the time is right, we really know how to have fun. Whether it be fun activities like Color Wars, doing something new in our shop, or simply walking the halls between classes, there's something different about Bergen Tech. As sophomores and juniors, we built our experiences and formed bonds with friends and teachers that stand to last a lifetime. What I learned most is that it doesn't matter who you are or what you do, you matter just as much as everyone else. It doesn't matter where you came from or where you're going, just the fact that you get the most out of your journey. Here at Bergen Tech, the path is paved for you. Whether you choose to walk it or run it, it's all up to you. If you know me, you know how much fishing is a big part of my life. The thing about fishing is without patience, you won't ever catch a fish. Although that's something acquired over time and comes with maturity, role models like Miss McGoldrick, Miss Silva, Miss Asenzo, and especially my grandfather have taught me that patience goes a long way and more importantly, hard work pays off. Things aren't always easy, and they definitely aren't always fun. Taking the low road may be easier, but taking the high road teaches you more and gets you more respect in the end. As a freshman, I would have never believed you if you told me that I would be standing here talking to you as your valedictorian. But with some effort and dedication, I can say that taking this high road pays off. I'll always remember Mr. Patterson's shop class, where although we may have always joked around, we got a lot done and had a lot of fun in the process. What I think I'll miss the most is our morning tailgate parties in the back lot before school. I want to thank my true friends for being there with me through all the ups and downs. There's a reason that I call you guys my friends. While we may not be able to have our morning laughs anymore in the back parking lot, I have no doubt that we will be there for each other throughout our future endeavors. Finally, I would like to thank my family. First of all, my dad, for all he's done for our school through the PPO. As for my mom, she always pushed me the right amount, knowing when I've had enough and reminded me how to rise above. In closing, I wanna leave you with this final thought. It's often said in a world where you can be anything, be kind. No truer words have been needed than right now. I urge you to look up the lyrics to Tim McGraw's song, Humble and Kind, which you may recognize from our lawn sign video from the PPO. The part that needs special mention is, when you get where you're going, don't forget to turn back around. Help the next one in line, always stay humble and kind. I want to wish my fellow graduates luck in the future and remind them of everything that we've endured from the time we were born until now. It will forever make us the strongest and most dynamic group ever. Congratulations to the class of 2020. On this day, June 24th of 2020, we are gathered virtually to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2020 of Bergen Tech, Paramus Campus. Although it is a novel experience to hold a commencement ceremony in this fashion, it speaks to the determination and dedication of our teachers, case managers, school counselors, principal, vice principal, support staff, and our parents to see to it that we receive a proper celebration of our achievements. And we thank you for your efforts and hard work. When we first walked through the doors of Bergen Tech as accepted students in September of 2016, we could have never imagined that we would face a pandemic in 2020 that would end up shutting down almost everything that we have come to depend on, including school. When Bergen Tech closed its doors in March, we never dreamed it would be the last time that we would gather in person. Had we known, we may have said goodbye to each other a little longer, thanked our teachers a little stronger, and complained about schoolwork no longer. COVID-19 has certainly left its mark on the world. It has forced everyone to think and act differently about how we go through our days and how we continue our lives in the future. The only thing that seems to be certain is uncertainty. In the words of David Bales, tolerance for uncertainty is the prerequisite to succeeding. With these words in mind, there is no doubt that the class of 2020 will be successful in pursuing whatever dreams and goals that lie ahead. 
Again, I would like to thank the faculty, parents, and all students in the class of 2020 for helping to create the memories, relationships, and foundations that will help us along our paths. Thank you, Nick and Colin. At this time, I would like to invite Principal Jeremy Wertheim and Board of Education President Dr. Lawrence Meyerson to the podium to certify the diplomas. It gives me great pleasure to certify to the Bergen County Technical School Board of Education that these members of the Class of 2020 of the Bergen County Technical High School Paramus Campus have successfully completed all the requirements for graduation set forth by the New Jersey Department of Education and have earned their high school diplomas on June 24th, 2020. I present them to you now for graduation. It is with pride and pleasure that I accept the certification and confirm that these students comprise the Bergen County Technical High School Class of 2020. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduates of the Class of 2020. Kai Agia. Mustafa Aktis. Robert Andahar. Quincy Allen Ball, Montclair State University. Stilgen Basileri. Mauricio Benitez, Bergen Community College. Isaiah Betts. Alia J. Booker, St. Peter's University. Robert Christopher Bruce. Rachel Sedeno. Emily Chargo, Montclair State University. Victor Chen. Christopher Sintro. Zandra Catrice Colaza. Edwin Daniel DeHaysi. Alexander Doster, Bergen Community College, Gustavo Andy Espinosa, Nicholas Fallon, Ramapo College, Jacob Matthew Fogey, Alexis Gallette, Rowan University, Jason Anthony Gambo, the United States Air Force. Kaylee Ann Garcia. Daisy Anahi Guaman Duta. George Gornieri, the Culinary Institute of America. Dylan James Hall, the United States Marine Corps. Skylar Joseph Healy, Bergen Community College. Jalia Jatora Hemphill Hall, Bergen Community College. John Patrick Hull, Bergen Community College. Jacqueline Gwen Hutchison, Berkeley College. Hanan Igbara. David Joseph Isaac, Bergen Community College. Anthony Lemangelo. Josue Lopez. Nathaniel Adoni Lopez. Nigel Lott, Bergen Community College. Brittany Ann Rose Lupino, Bergen Community College. Julia Maimona, Bergen Community College. Anthony Joseph Maioli. Ivan Marisha. Lucas Jagadish McCoy, Bergen Community College. Robert Christopher McCauley. Anthony William Montalvo. Charles James Montagna. Madison Page Naka, the Universal Technical Institute. Brandon William Ndosi. Daniel Olmedo. 
Jose Carlos Orellana. Kevin Ortiz. Sean Penka. Wally Alexander Pena, King University. Alondra Liana Perez. Jordan Alessia Rivera. Ramapo Collins. Stephen Daniel Rivera. Xavier Rivera, New Jersey Institute of Technology. Reynaldo Robinson, Bergen Community College. Scott Anthony Romano. Trent Rubio, Bergen Community College. Patricia Restina Senez. Christopher Edward Sanchez. Jalen Saraga, the United States Navy. Colin William Schumacher, Ramapo College. Anthony Siglatana, Culinary School. Katrina Rose Sanfienza, Fisher College. Karina Elizabeth Serrano, Berkeley College. Kiara Gavin Siano, Ramapo College. Mia Gavin Siano, Ramapo College. Sophia Rose Sinisi. Lucas Daniel Sarek. Ranisha Vanderlaan. Ryan Vimeyala, Bergen Community College. Shannon Wallaby, Bergen Community College. Isaiah Watkins. Gianni Moises Whitehead. Elizabeth Christine Williams. Raven Monet Wright. To all our graduates, congratulations. It is time to turn that tassel. Let's dance in sky, let's dance for a while. Heaven can wait, we're only watching the skies. Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Are you gonna drop the bomb or not? Let us die and all let us live forever. We don't have the power, but we never say never. Sitting in a sand pit, there is a shot. The music's for the sad man. Please welcome Mr. Rich Fallon, PPO President, for a special presentation for Principal Wertheim. Mr. Wertheim, on behalf of the PPO and the class of 2020, we would like to present you with this pillow signed by the seniors to mark your first year as principal and hope that you remember all the positive things about the school year rather than how it ended. We hope that you remember them as they will remember you after the last four years together. And a very special thanks to the senior class advisors, Mr. Keith Kaplan and Ms. Kathy Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the class of 2020. Yeah. 
more like we think about now Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end And suddenly it's like the women and men will be